Do you know that now you can urinate your way to better blood sugars? Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about a brand new class of oral medications just approved by the FDA for folks with type 2 diabetes. And you're going to learn a little later that they may also be helpful for folks with type 1. They're called, ready for this? SGLT2 inhibitors. Oh my God, sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors. Now there's going to be a whole class of these agents. The first one, I've got to look at the sheet. Invokana, it's called. It's made by J&J, and the chemical name is Canaguflosin. Now, the one in Europe already being used is called Forziga, or Dapagluflosin. Now, let me tell you how these drugs work. This picture shows a healthy kidney. Now, it's amazing to learn that in the course of a normal day, are you ready for this? your kidneys which filter the glucose in the in the blood reabsorb 180 grams of glucose a day now that's calories that's being retained so these drugs inhibit this one enzyme called SGLT2 they inhibit the enzyme from reabsorbing or bringing the glucose that's going to be urinated out in the kidneys through the urine back into the bloodstream. So if you inhibit that, guess what happens? You piss out all the glucose. Sorry, urinate. And so what happens when you give this drug to people with type 2 diabetes shown in clinical trials? They not only improve their glucose values, their A1C comes down, but guess what? They also lose weight. It's an oral medication once a day. It's incredible that this once a day pill can help you lose weight and improve your glucose just by inhibiting an enzyme that normally helps our bodies retain glucose. Now what are the side effects? Let me just tell you that I've looked into this very carefully. Uh, this is a very safe class of compounds. You would think that if there's more glucose in your urine you might have more yeast infections and in fact that's what happens in women. A very small, small increase. In guys, it typically doesn't happen unless you're not circumcised. Now, over time, the FDA and the companies that make these drugs will follow for any potential side effects. The only other side effect is that because you cannot urinate pure sugar cubes, because that would hurt like hell, you have to urinate fluid to get the sugar out, and you might become slightly dehydrated, but that did not seem to be a big problem in clinical trials. Now, lastly, this drug would work perfectly well in people with type 1 diabetes. The studies aren't done yet, but let me tell you, they're ongoing, and this might be another medication for people with type 1 other than insulin or simlin. So long, nation.